What's going on guys? Jacob here from JPS and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about the best exercise for hamstring hypertrophy. Now a little bit of a clickbait title, uh, there is no best exercise, every exercise has a time and place. However, when it comes to building muscle on the hamstrings, uh, certain exercises are better than others and we're going to talk about the leg curl because a lot of people perform the leg curl and it is a great exercise for muscle hypertrophy. However, people often program seated leg curls and lying leg curls interchangeably in their program, but there are some subtle but very significant differences between the two movements. Now, recently there was a study by Sumiaki and others just in October where they compared uh, 20 participants who performed the seated versus lying leg curl on either leg. Now, this is pretty cool because the subjects were their own control. Now they measured muscle growth using MRI, which is the gold standard of measurement techniques for hypertrophy, and they found that the subjects had 5% more growth with the seated leg curl. Now this makes sense because the seated leg curl trains the hamstrings in a lengthened possession and confirms prior research that there is some stretch mediated hypertrophy that goes on. So. In summary, if you have access to a seated leg curl, it might be a better movement because you will get a little bit more stimulus and growth in the biarticulate portion of the hamstring, uh, the upper hamstring, because it is undergoing a stretch when you're seated and your hips are flexed. So guys, that's the 101 on the best way to perform the hamstring curl. Now I will say that anecdotally, I think a lot of people get more out of the seated leg curl because when they perform a lying leg curl, their hips are moving and there's a lot of compensatory movement that goes on. There's just less tension on the hamstrings. So there's no reason that you need to throw away with the lying leg curl. Just program it diligently as you would any other exercise. Make sure that you execute it correctly, minimizing that hip involvement. That's all for me today, guys. I'll chat to you soon. Peace for now.